This screencast is designed to give beginner web designers or experienced web designers without any prior WordPress theme design and development a brief overview of the PHP used in WordPress themes. So to get started, I assume that you have experience with web design and their front-end design technologies along with WordPress experience. When I say WordPress experience, I mean how to operate a WordPress content management system. I also assume that you have a text editor or IDE and have a local development web server. WordPress is a dynamically generated CMS and PHP is a server-side language, so you will need a server with PHP installed in order to get WordPress to run. To get started, we'll take a look at the basic WordPress theme folder structure. In order to create a WordPress theme, you will need a couple of PHP files and a CSS file. Following the recommended theme guidelines, we will need a index.php file, which is the default template file, a functions.php file, which gives WordPress instructions on many different options, such as your menus, possible widget layouts, special CSS and JavaScript files that are to be used by the theme, theme support settings, defining theme constants, and many other options. The theme function file is a very important file. The style.css file defines your theme. In order to register your theme in your WordPress website and see it displayed in your theme settings page in the backend admin area, you must use the WordPress theme declaration template and place it inside your CSS file. Without it, you'll never be able to see your theme in the appearance section on the theme settings page, and then you'll not be able to activate your theme. In WordPress root folder, there are three main folders, WP admin, WP Content, WP Includes. If you go under the WP Content, there is a Themes folder. Now to create a new theme, you will need to create a new folder. Call it something easy that is related to your theme. Now under this new theme folder, this is where your theme folders will reside. Along with the three main files, this is where we can add all of our other theme files that we can use when building a theme. For example, common practice, a CSS folder to hold all of our special CSS files, a JavaScript folder which holds our JavaScript files, and some other possible folders, image folder, fonts folder, library folder. Inside our theme root folder, we will also add our special WordPress template files. In WordPress, there are many different template files. When named correctly, WordPress will look for and find and use those special theme template files when necessary. For example, here's a list of just some of the WordPress theme template files. Take special note of this list as you'll see it again as we go over WordPress PHP. In this example I have a, just a header file, a footer file, and my little test theme I have very few. Uh, here's our style.css which declares our theme. A single.php this is for just single blog post. Index.php which is the default theme template. Home.php which is for the home page, a header, a footer, and the functions file. Okay, again, very basic WordPress theme structure. Now let's take a look at some of the PHP code used in WordPress theme design and development. I want to break down the WordPress theme PHP into different sections, go, go over most commonly used. This is definitely not a complete list of every PHP code that is used in WordPress. We already went over some of the WordPress template files, so that takes care of that. The theme structure area. Remember WordPress is dynamically generated CMS written in PHP so almost all the files are PHP files with a .php extension. The next section I'll call template tags. These are small quick PHP code specific to WordPress. Most of these template tags are just PHP functions written specifically for WordPress. Here's a quick list of some very common template tags and we'll go over them. The title, this is a WordPress function displays the post or page's title. The content, WordPress PHP function displays the content of the page. The excerpt, displays the excerpt of the current page or the post. The permalink, displays the URL for the permalink of the page or post. Okay, the author, displays like the author of the current page or post. Who wrote the page or the post. WP register, displays the register link. The ID displays the numeric ID of the current post. The category, the category of the post. WP list pages displays all the pages. The date displays the date of the post or the page. 
Under the WordPress hood, there's a PHP function called the title, which does all the advanced PHP code. Let's dig deeper and take a look at this function. If you go under WP includes in the uh, post template PHP, you will see the function right here called function the title. This does all the heavy lifting and all the PHP code to return the title. As a theme developer, you don't need to know all this. You just need to know this right here, the title, which will get you the title. So instead of learning all the advanced PHP code, all you need to know is the title. So just remember that a lot of WordPress specific PHP code are just simple functions that you have to know and that WordPress is doing all the hard work. Next section is blog info tags. Again, these tags are all you need to know. WordPress, again, is doing all the hard PHP coding. So here blog info is a special WordPress PHP function. You just need to place what you want inside the parentheses. In coding terms, this is known as a parameter. A parameter is just an options that is included with the function to get more specific details from that function. For example, blog info name gets the blog title, blog info URL gets the address of the blog. Next section is called conditional tags. These are basically functions that ask some kind of condition. So for example, is home ask, is this the home page? And if so, do something. Is front page function. It asked, is this the front page? If so, do something. Is single function? Ask, is page or post a single? If so, do something. Is page function? Ask, is this a page? Then do something. The next section is WordPress template include tags. You can use these tags in your template files to include other template files. So for example, the get header function gets the header template and pulls it in to my home.php template. Get footer gets the footer template. Get sidebar gets the sidebar template. And lastly, the famous WordPress loop. WordPress started out as a blogging platform, but it's turned into a multifunctional CMS. But in order to display your blog posts, you need to understand the WordPress loop. This loop combines multi-conditional loops. So it first checks to see if there are any posts. If so, then it uses a while loop to do something while there are posts, such as displaying the post title, post content. So now we've talked all about our different PHP functions. Let's take a look at some in practice. In our home.php file, right here is an include template tag function, get header, which goes and pulls our header file into our home.php template file. Come down here, you'll see blog info with we're asking for the name of the blog. Blog info function, which passing in the URL parameter, which will get the URL address for our blog. Down below, have an example of the WordPress loop right here. And inside this loop, you will see some of our PHP template tags, the permalink, which gets the permalink, the title, which goes and gets our post title, the time, which goes and gets the time and the date, the content, which goes and gets the post content. So let's take a look, see what it looks like in the front end. So here's an example of our front end right here. As you see, this is a header file, which is using the include template tag to pull in the uh, header. Right here, this is our blog info function, passing the name parameter, which gets our name of our blog, which is WordPress PHP. Right here, the blog info URL. This is the URL of our blog. The title, this is the title of our blog. The post date, right there, and post content. And at the bottom, this is the footer file, which is pulled in using the include tag. So now you have a brief idea of the type of WordPress PHP code that is used in designing and developing WordPress themes. You don't have to be a PHP master to code WordPress themes. You just have to understand that WordPress does a lot of the advanced PHP coding for you. You just have to know the WordPress template tags to use to be able to get the information.